So the current backdrop is of declining inflation. I would say peaking inflation both globally and domestically. While inflation still remains high, it is, uh, it is you know, most likely it has peaked and it's likely to gradually go downwards. Uh, the current backdrop is also of declining growth globally, but steady growth in India. The combination of these factors, we also need to, I mean, beside these factors, we also need to include the fact that there's aggressive government borrowing program, both from the central government and the, as well as the state government, which means that there's going to be heavy supply of government papers, especially in the long end, because most of the government borrowing happens in seven year point, 10 year point, 15 year points. So the current backdrop is of declining growth globally, steady growth in India, but declining inflation both globally and domestically. Inflation still remains, however, inflation still remains above RBA's tolerance zone, and inflation still remains much above tolerance zones of most other global central bankers. In this backdrop, we believe that globally the central bankers will keep on hiking rates very aggressively, but domestically we believe that RBI's uh, aggressive norm monetary policy normalization cycle will gradually taper off, and we are, like in most of the market, expect a terminal rate of close to 6%, which is currently 5.4%. Another point to note is that the level of fiscal borrowing uh, from Indian government, Indian states, is likely to remain elevated, which means that there's going to be heavy supply of government papers in the long end of the curve, where typically government borrows. The spread, the typical spread that you get between a repo rate and the front end of the yield curve currently is quite elevated, which means that a lot of buffer is already in price, which is factoring in uh, some degree of rate hike cycle. Just to give an instance, the typical spread that you get between a repo rate and a five-year point is around 70 to 80 basis point. The current uh, uh, five-year point is trading closer to 7%, which means that it is already factoring in a repo rate of 6.2%. The current repo rate is 5.4%, and markets are expecting a terminal rate of 6%. What I mean to say is that a lot of rate hike, most of the rate hike cycle is already in the price, and the front end of the yield curve in particular remains quite steep, which, and also provides a lot of decent cushion to investors if they're investing in the front end of the yield curve. And our advice to investors is that you should put your money uh, uh, in, in funds where the duration of the fund is closely matching or somewhat matching to your investment horizon. There is a decent amount of spread still available. And if you are investing in, in a zone which is closer to your investment horizon, if you're investing in a fund with duration in a zone closer to your investment horizon, you should be okay with the, vol with the some volatility which can come in, but you will benefit from the very high spread and also possibly benefit from the roll down benefit which such funds entail. In terms of fund recommendation, investors should match their in investment horizon with the duration of the funds in which they are investing. For investors who want to invest for less than one year, we have attractive opportunities in uh, our, our ultra short term fund category, low duration fund category, and money manager fund category. We, have also, we also have a very good opportunity in a floater fund. For investors for one to three year horizon, a corporate bond fund and a short term fund provide a very attractive investment opportunity. For investors for three year plus time horizon, a dynamic bond fund, a GSEC fund, our income fund, and a lot of and many of the index funds which they have launched recently provide very attractive opportunity. For investors with more than five year investment horizon, a long duration fund which cap which captures a very elevated uh, spread that we have typically in long duration uh, portfolio, they can benefit by using that attractive spread. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.